Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. Analog modes that allow the drive to follow a signal generated from a controller or other device in the form of a plus minus voltage command. In this segment we will set up the drive for analog velocity mode. To operate the AKD in analog velocity mode the command source must be set to 3 analog mode and the operation mode set to 1 velocity. Once set we can go into the analog input screen the scale is set to provide the greatest range of possible with the input command. With a command of plus minus 10 volts, we set the scaling by using the maximum velocity of the motor divided by 10. For our motor, with a speed of 3000 RPMs, we will set the scaling to 300 RPMs per volt. An offset can be created in one direction or the other. If a constant velocity is required with no input, the offset can create this motion. If the reference level is off slightly, we can zero it out using adjust to zero. Command zero from the controller, then adjust to zero. This step may need to be repeated. Clicking more expands the parameters available for setting up the analog command. The addition of the dead band or dead zone can be used if there is an area of noise around the zero volt level. This will stop the system from being jittery. The main difference between dead band and dead zone is how it reacts when the value of the analog signal goes above the set value. The one you use will depend on the level of noise in your system. How the system responds to changes in the analog signal are affected by the settings for acceleration and deceleration. Check that the limits have been set to the appropriate levels. When working in velocity mode, it is very important to make sure tuning is very good. This will ensure that you get the best performance possible. Check out our other segments on analog torque and analog position. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I'll see you next time.